Dirt Locker. If there's a slope on the property, you can use this system to protect it from erosion. The number of rows depends on the area you need to secure, but you can be sure that the installation doesn't take much effort or time. After installing the system, you need to fill each cell with soil and plant vegetation, and it's important to understand that ideally 70% of the system should be planted. When in this state, it deals with erosion in the best way. The water that causes this dangerous natural phenomenon gradually flows lower and lower through the layers, preventing it from pooling and causing soil damage. By spending between $91 and $162 for a set, depending on the sizes, you not only protect and enhance your property, but also help the environment a bit. The company plants 10 trees for every order. This is what this very erosion looks like. It works differently here, but the power of nature remains enormous. With conditions like these, tools like Dirt Locker are useless. The only thing left is to run. EcoBlock Max No one would like to see their property turn into a lake after a heavy downpour. That's why we just need to set up these blocks and continue with our lives undisturbed. The toughest part of the installation is digging a hole big enough. After that, it's basically just putting together a set of building blocks. Each module weighs only 20 pounds, making it easy to carry and connect with other modules. The benefit of the system is that when there's heavy rain, water doesn't pool up like it does with regular drains, but instead seeps through the modules. It then slowly drains out through the outlets or absorbs into the soil, preventing it from gathering and forming a large puddle. Flame block. Check it out! One house burns all the way to the frame, while the other one just has a tiny trace left after the fire test. It's all thanks to the siding from LP. To uncover the secret of flame block's fire resistance, we need to look into how it's built. The company mixes wood fibers with wax and resin, then a non-combustible fiberglass reinforced coating is added. As a result, according to the company's tests, such panels alone withstand 30 minutes of fire exposure. But that's not all, as the company also has roofing decks. In combination with flame block, they can endure one or even two hours of fire. However, making walls only out of these panels is not only not very aesthetic, but also foolish. Besides the fact that this solution won't make the house comfortable, it also keeps heat much worse without using other materials. Roof Cover if a storm hits or hail is falling from the sky, this type of roofing will protect you in any of these cases, as well as in many other dangerous situations for your home. In just 30 minutes, the posts are put up, and then the sheet is firmly attached to them, which won't let anything through that the homeowner wouldn't want to see on their roof or underneath it. The house is protected, and the owner is pleased that another roof has been added on top. Easy blocks. Block by block with no additional fastenings or complicated work and soon a complete building emerges. No, this isn't a solution that accidentally ended up here from a video about quick build homes. The thing is, these blocks are made from cross laminated timber, which is known for its great protective qualities and handles weather, fire, and other types of damage well. Moreover, each block is a hollow object, so it can be additionally reinforced. What with? That's up to the user. If someone also needs protection from firearms, the blocks are reinforced with soil and gravel. According to the company, these two basic materials can endure over a hundred bullets shot in a small area without any bullets penetrating through to the other side.
Flood barriers. You can protect your home from flooding with inflatable items, for instance, with this tube called Serpent. The most important thing is that this solution inflates and deflates quickly. No need to explain why, just connect the pump and the solution inflates and in just a few seconds is ready to shield your house from the water flow. The next type of barrier is a bit more complicated to set up because it doesn't inflate. To protect a large area, you need to carry and connect each piece individually. But in this case, the user can be sure that a sharp object carried by the current won't destroy the entire barrier at once. Basically, there are numerous solutions for protecting a house from water flows, but you need to select based on different circumstances. Hurricane Shutters Have you ever seen stores close up with those kinds of shutters? It's great protection against people who might want to steal stuff, so why not use similar solutions to protect a house? One press of a button and windows, doors, or everything together is secured with metal barriers. You can also choose manual control. This helps you protect your home even if there's no electricity. There's another option, combined shutters, which are usually controlled by a remote, but can be opened and closed manually if needed. In general, when it comes to control, we're talking maximum flexibility. By the way, the security system won't just fend off intruders, it can also act as an impenetrable barrier against objects blown around by stormy weather. Danrec whether you're building on a property, setting up a temporary access route, or laying down a permanent pathway, in all these cases, the soil can be protected with Danrec solutions. They're perfect for those who don't want to deal with complicated construction. The lightweight and easy-to-assemble panels allow you to build soil protection quickly and without special tools. However, you might still need some tools if you need to make changes to the mat. That won't be difficult for users, too, since the mats are made of plastic, which is easy to cut, saw, screw, and weld. Also, the plastic is 100% recycled, so by purchasing these panels, homeowners not only protect their soil from harmful effects, but also contribute to environmental conservation. Champion LP a small shelter inside the house will give the homeowner a way to hide from all the threats that one can imagine. Storms, hurricanes, tornadoes, fires, and even robbers or other criminals won't stand a chance against the steel these shelters are made from. So you can safely use such rooms to store your most valuable things or as a bunker to save your life. When there's a need for extra reliability, the creators of these solutions aren't shy about adding more features. For instance, they install double locks, reinforced hinges, secondary steel ribs, and much more. But you'll need to fork out more money. Regular small home bunkers can cost between $3,000 and $6,000, and with upgrades, their costs can increase significantly. Underground bunkers are indeed more dependable, but they require maximum caution. There are cases when, because of improper setup and too much rain, they simply float to the surface, leaving the owners unprotected. Spikes Anyone who decides to trespass on someone else's property will be in for a big surprise when they suddenly feel the spikes with their hands. Chances are, the moment the criminal touches it, they'll lose all desire to go any further and make a run for it. Doesn't matter what the owner decided to install spikes, plastic, or metal, either way, the intruder's in for a nasty surprise. But they'll be luckier if they run into the plastic ones, as they'll get fewer injuries. By the way, spikes are so easy to install that you can even make a unique trap with them to scare off any intruder who's trespassed on your property even more.
Beauregard. Here's another solution to protect against hurricanes and anyone trying to break into your home by force, Hurricard Polycarbonate Panels. Their installation is as simple as it gets. The panels are 30 to 50% lighter than traditional metal panels, which makes them easier to carry to the site. On top of that, they can be installed without any framing or extra mounting, you just attach them to the window. The protective features are just as good as those of their metal counterparts. According to the manufacturer, they can easily withstand hits from a 9-pound projectile fired from an air cannon and handle air pressure simulating wind speeds of 170 miles per hour. And of course, the panels have no trouble dealing with water or UV exposure. The one drawback is that you can't make them open with the button press, but the panels can simply be taken off the window when there's no danger. So it's something you can overlook. Survive a storm. You need to pay $3,995 and you'll get a pod in which, according to Survive a Storm, you can take shelter even from the strongest tornadoes with wind speeds over 250 miles per hour. This kind of serious robustness comes from the fact that it's just a hefty steel cylinder that's secured to the surface with really tough anchor bolts. Basically, it's a handy block of metal that'll guard you against the wind and anything that gets thrown around in a hurricane. What about comfort inside the pod? You probably won't find it there because the bunker's too small. However, there's ventilation so you can stay in the shelter for a long time. True Grid if you have a lot of mud on your site with ruts and soil prone to erosion, take one 11-pound module and lay it down in the necessary place. Take the second one, do the same, and connect them to each other. Keep doing this until the area affected by negative changes is completely covered. True Grid pavers will stabilize the surface and still allow rainwater to pass through. What's interesting is that they can be planted with plants, but that's more about looks than protection. The company's pavers are made from low-density polyethylene so they can handle any equipment that can drive on them, and definitely any person. High stability of the company's solutions is also greatly supported by X-shaped anchors, circular elements, and flexible links on each panel that help them expand and contract depending on the conditions. For a set that covers 71 square feet, the company's asking $208. For a more advanced option, $175, but it only covers 40 square feet. SunPower S250. This device allows you to transform a regular fence into an electric one without connecting to any external power sources. On sunny days, the device gets its energy from the built-in solar panel, and when the sun goes down, the built-in battery kicks in. To upgrade your fence to a more effective security barrier, first install the device on one of the posts, then perform a few connection steps and press the button. That's all there is to it. The important thing is that the length of the fence without vegetation shouldn't exceed 1.8 miles and with vegetation, 0.4 miles, because otherwise you'll have to add another $217 to the already spent amount. There's also an option to buy a more powerful version right away. The company offers such solutions. Alistair. Feel like a movie hero and imagine the following situation. A trespasser was spotted on the cameras. You rush out to a hidden spot, open our big black case, and then perform a couple of maneuvers, after which a drone flies out of the portable storage, the tethered drone. Connected to its station by a cable, the drone has a range of only 200 feet. However, the cable supplies it with electricity, so the limited distance isn't an issue as long as the battery stays charged and the house remains powered. The box is versatile, so it can accommodate not just one drone, but an entire fleet. However, there's a limit. Each drone must have a power output of no more than 1,200 watts. P-51 
PFD. If there's a pool on the property, you can get this system and together they'll become an effective team that can quickly put out a fire if one starts. The pool serves as the main supplier of resources, namely water. It's connected to a system with two pumps. One pumps water out of the pool, and with the help of the second, it's directed towards the fire at a distance of up to 175 feet. To make it easier to use, the system was designed to be as mobile as possible. It has wheels and can be quickly and easily assembled and disassembled by anyone. Fog you. Assemble the device that came in the package, then mount it in the right spot on the wall and connect it to all the services. When a thief breaks into the house, the device activates in 0.01 seconds, covering everything right around it with fog within 2-3 to three seconds, and within 15 seconds, visibility drops to zero over an area of 1,600 to 2,200 square feet. This will continue for about 60 minutes, during which time you can either capture the thief yourself or just let him go, as he'll probably run away, confused about what's happening. There's one downside, the device from FogU doesn't have its own system for tracking violators, so you either need to turn it on manually with the remote control or connect it to a surveillance and detection system. Oasis Kovana says that with the Oasis covers, you can turn a spa into a personal retreat. Indeed, you can clearly see why the company uses such bold language to describe this cover just by looking at it. It resembles a real roof of a house that'll shield a relaxation area from anything you can think of. It's likely that Oasis can withstand even serious physical damage, which sets it apart from similar solutions made of fabrics and other materials. Like any retreat, Oasis can be customized with various designs and features, for example, different finishes, lighting, and side curtains. Expandable Barriers These aren't the kinds of solutions that will fully protect your home from a speeding car or a thief. Instead, they're more like visual barriers that discourage unwanted visitors from entering. The main advantage is mobility. These barriers can fit into even the tightest spaces and then unfold to their full length in just a few seconds, blocking off any passage or driveway. Also, the barriers are equipped with wheels, making it easy to move them to the desired location, whether they're folded or extended. Moss. It's best if this wall decoration for $57 never needs to be used and just serves as a nice little decoration. But if the need does arise, the product from Moss won't let you down. This is a fire blanket, and if there's a fire, you need to carefully pull it out from its wall holder, then put your hands in the protected parts and throw it over the fire. The blanket will cut off the fire from oxygen, making the fire go out. And yes, don't wash it after using it, and don't wash it before using it either. The blanket is for single use only. 